everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog so today it's monday and i'm actually going to university to work on my thesis in the library and i have to go in like five minutes or so so i don't have time to give you an update on my reading just yet but yeah today is going to be a day of studying working on school it's definitely very necessary and then i will be back at you with a reading update as soon as i can hey so it is now tuesday i didn't have any time left yesterday to film because i was basically away the whole day but as i said let me give you an update on what i'm currently reading so the book that i'm currently mainly reading is mistress of rome by kate quinn it's a historical fiction book it takes place during the roman era surprisingly and it's about a lot of different characters but central are uh, a slave girl and a gladiator and yeah this book is so far very intense very brutal and also quite violent i mean it is very accurate to the time period so yeah it is pretty brutal and i personally really love it i'm very much enjoying it and it almost feels like sort of a tv series in a book because it's definitely like, I can definitely see it as a TV series. There's so much happening and, of course, a lot of it is not very positive. Because, yeah, if you're a gladiator or a slave girl uh, in the Roman era, life isn't all that great usually. And, yeah, as I said, I love it. I'm, like, really into this book. And, yeah, I just love that it's so, well, harsh. But I know that's not for everyone. So, yeah, I can definitely recommend it if you want, like, a dark, brutal story during the roman era because there's not a lot of historical fiction during the roman era but if you don't really like that then you should probably stay away from this book but yeah i am currently um about halfway through i'm at page 275 so yeah along the middle and i really want to finish it this week i'm going through it very quickly and yeah, very happy with this book at the moment. Then I'm also in the middle of Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. So I have read a bit of this so far. And yeah, I'm just planning to read bits of it in between. I really want to reread Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows this month. Because of course, Queen of Air and Darkness comes out in one month time. Oh my god, like that's so fast actually. I remember talking about it in a reading vlog how it was supposed to be another year and how it was so long and now the year is over that's crazy but anyway rereading this really enjoying it i definitely love the dark artifices series i think it's probably the best written series of cassandra clare so yeah i want to make some progress in lady midnight this week as well and then lastly i'm listening to an audiobook and i'm listening to mocking jay by suzanne collins the final book in the hunger game series and i'm uh, halfway through the audiobook at the moment also i think i'm going to finish it this week because like i'm really going very fast through the audiobooks so i reread like the entire series through audiobook in about two weeks time and i'm really happy about that because I'm enjoying it so much. It's just one of my all-time favorite series. And yeah, a reread is always very enjoyable. So yeah, I want to finish this one this week as well. But yeah, so like this week fall weather has definitely started. It's a lot colder and a lot more rain. And yeah, a lot more leaves and fall colors. I love it because I love fall weather. And I bought a lot of different sweaters and vests. This one as well. And it's just so gorgeous and I love sweaters and fall colors. But also yesterday after I went to university, I went to get some new uh, pajamas and a bedrobe and basically all these sort of stuff like pajama stuff for the winter and fall. And I love it so much and I'm so happy with it because I felt a little bit down yesterday and then getting those uh, wonderful pajamas just made me so happy. So I got this pink bedrobe and it's basically of the softest material ever. I wish you could feel it but it's so soft and so warm and I love it. And I also got a lot of um, like of those really soft pajama pants. They're so fluffy and they feel so nice. And then also this one which is even more fluffy and even warmer for when it gets really cold. And this is so like it's not specifically a Christmas pajama pants but it's very wintry and one with hearts and also lots of tops. This one with a penguin. I love it. It's so soft again and also some simple ones. And yeah, basically I just went completely crazy at the store. Honestly, I could do a pajama lookbook because I have so many different sets right now. But in my defense, it had been years since I actually bought a new pajama. 
and like i just use the same stuff over and over again and now i have this wonderful new fluffy stuff it's so soft it's so warm and yeah i just love pajamas and i love reading like in cozy clothing and it made me really happy but yeah right now i'm going to edit some videos and do some school stuff and that's pretty much uh my plan for today hey it is wednesday and it's another pretty cold day but i don't mind because i have another excuse to wear one of my lovely sweaters that are so soft and that makes me so happy i'm really a fall person like of autumn person i just love this weather and the colors and dressing up and all this cozy stuff <laughs> so with my audiobook of mockingjay i'm almost finished i have about 40 minutes left so yeah I'm at the end and I'm pretty sure I can finish it probably this afternoon or something. So that's my first book of the week finished and right at the end of October. Yeah, it's also like the 31st of October, so it's Halloween's Eve. But yeah, we don't really celebrate it here in the Netherlands. It's not really much of a thing here, so... Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything to me. But I know that like a lot of people in other countries do celebrate it. So yeah, if you did, then I hope you had a very happy Halloween or scary Halloween. I don't know what you should wish for Halloween. But anyway, and I'm also still reading Mistress of Rome by Kate Quinn. Really enjoying this still. And I'm actually quite far ahead now. I'm at page 384. So yeah, I've read quite a bit. And with this book, I really have to pace myself so I won't go through it too quickly because it's really that kind of book that you just want to keep reading. And I almost go too fast and I just don't want to stop. And yeah, very good book. And for me, it's very soothing for like this cold weather it's just a story that it fits somehow and i also uh, realized that this is the first book in a series so yeah i think i will pick up the rest of the books in the series because yeah i'm just liking it very much and yeah hopefully the rest of the books are good as well and yeah that's it for reading right now and yeah i don't know what else i can tell you nothing much i guess so yeah i will talk to you again soon hey it is now thursday and good news i finished two books yesterday first of all i finished the audiobook of mockingjay so yeah really happy about that i officially finished my hunger games reread and then second of all i also finished mistress of rome by kate quinn and i really enjoyed it as i said before this book is brutal it's intense, but it's also so entertaining. There is so much happening. I can definitely see this as a sort of TV show. I believe I also said that before, but it's just, it's very much the format of that. And yeah, I just had a really good time reading it. I was really invested. This book made me laugh. It also made me yell. It made me do everything. It's just really, really fun. Well, yeah, I mean, fun also some not very fun things happen but it's very entertaining almost like a gladiator game you might say and what i also really appreciated is that at the end of the book there's a historical note about what is accurate and what is not so which things did really happen but also where characters were based from because sometimes it's based on a rumor or a vague story that she turned into this book and yeah i really appreciate that it's really fun to read about because some things did really happen but it's like sort of she made a story around it and yeah with that sort of note at the end you know exactly what is true and what is not and how she came to certain ideas and yeah i just really love that now i really want to read the rest of the books in this series as well because i think they will also be very entertaining definitely something i can see myself reading every now and then so yeah very happy about this i gave it four out of five stars because it's not like an amazing book like the best book ever but it's just really really entertaining and i had a really good time reading it so now i'm just going to continue with lady midnight for a little while and i think i might pick up a new physical book during the weekend but i also picked a new audiobook and i picked uh, the Lost Tutor by Philippa Gregory. I love to read a Philippa Gregory book every now and then. And yeah, I have a physical copy, but I decided to listen to the audiobook because all those audiobooks are always very relaxing and I just love listening to them. And The Lost Tutor is about Lady Jane Grey and her sisters and yeah, basically the end of the Tudor era. And it's so weird to listen to an audiobook about lady jane gray that is like serious because as you might know i really love my lady jane by cynthia hand brody ashton and jodie meadows and that's a really fun like not very serious retelling of lady jane gray but it's of course with the exact same characters and in this everything is so serious and i sort of expect everyone to like make the same jokes but <laughs> 
it's definitely like this is real history and that was just a fun book so i have to get used to that but i'm sure i will hey so i didn't really have any time to film today because basically i was just on the go the entire day i had to go to university and then i also had some other stuff that i had to do and yeah also the trains weren't going from my place today so i had to be creative so yeah i spent a lot of time getting from one place to another and yeah but in the end i did get everything done that i needed to do and i did make all my appointments at university so yeah i'm very happy about that but i am really tired right now so i'm going to get in my pajamas and yeah probably just watch a movie and of course read i don't have any like exciting reading updates um i have been listening to quite a bit of the audiobook of the last tutor today because i spent so much time in train so yeah i did have the time for that and i read some more of lady midnight but yeah nothing exciting nothing really new i think i might pick out a new book tonight to read uh for the weekend i'm not sure yet and i really don't know which book i think i'm just going to see what i feel like reading and hopefully it's going to be a very relaxing night because pff, i'm tired but yeah i'm very happy with everything that i got done so yeah i think i've earned this hey so this saturday is a cleaning day i'm doing some washing i just cleaned my room and now i'm actually washing my makeup brushes something i don't do nearly enough they're always so dirty but yeah i'm doing it now but it's always so time consuming but in any case i'm cleaning him now and whilst doing all that it's of course the perfect opportunity to listen to more of my audiobook the last tutor really enjoying it i just love listening to philippa gregory books it's so relaxing for me and yeah just very enjoyable and yeah once i'm done with cleaning i'm not going to do much probably watch the latest episode of crazy ex-girlfriend um probably read some more i didn't pick up a new book last night but maybe i will this afternoon or maybe i will just read more of lady midnight i really don't know but of course as always i will keep you updated as uh, apparently as usual i forgot to add my reading vlog yesterday on sunday so yeah again i'm doing it on monday but yeah i don't really have much to catch up on i didn't read a lot yesterday actually although um i did listen to a lot of my audiobook of the uh, last tutor so yeah i have listened to quite a bit of that so yeah i'm about seven hours in and i'm over the halfway point and yeah i've just been cleaning a lot and just doing some like random chores whilst listening to this audiobook and it has been great like it's not the best book ever but it's just so relaxing to listen to especially because it's about a subject that interests me so much and yeah i just always love philippa gregory books and yeah this is just a fine well not my new favorite i think but also not the worst i've ever read and yeah i've also read a little bit of lady midnight but not a lot so yeah and also didn't start a new book and yeah just not much to tell you about reading apart from that so yeah this was it for this weekly reading vlog i think it's a little bit shorter than usual but yeah what can i say it wasn't just a very eventful week next week's vlog is probably going to be a bit more exciting because i'm going to celebrate my birthday and it's just a fun week overall so yeah stay tuned for that but this was it now for this video and if you like this video please go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and then hopefully i will see you again very soon in my next video bye